onward. Leaving Woody Gap, making our way to the other side of Preacher's Rock. Hopefully most of these people will be going to Preacher's Rock, though I imagine a lot of them will go further, maybe on the blood. Be a big day. So we actually got a little bit of a descent here as we come around the saddle before we start our climb up to Preacher Rock. And that's one of the things about this section is that there's a pretty good ease into the climb to Preacher's Rock. So consequently, a lot of people come here. They're waiting on their mama. We're out in the climb proper now. <laughs> hey kids, they're fun. Here's our first little perch. We can see Yona peering above us, above the ridge there. We make a switch back here left. There we are, preacher ride. Somewhere down in that crevice, crevasse, it's Darkery Lake. All right, leaving Preacher Rock and heading out to Big Cedar. And maybe the little perch that's on the other side. Just getting a little bit of mileage today. You got some folks up in front of us, some good sized packs so they may be overnighter there's still more views if people would just continue on we got a little runoff here across this slab it's like somebody did a little bit of digging back there which is good because this would all be ice <laughs> and probably a good bit of it is when you you come down, you can see the spring coming right out of the ground there. Folks going on that way, we're gonna go out here to this point. Point, I have no point. Get a little bit of a view here. With the, with the trees gone. So technically the summit of Big Cedar is over there, but this is a little camping spot. It's pretty good, and in the wintertime you'd get a little bit of a view. But this is as close to the summit as the trail is going to come. But we're going to go out to this end of this point right here. And uh, catch a little overlook over there. It's a really nice spot, really a better camping spot than this. I couldn't remember if this had a had a view or not if it was cleared but uh, now I know it's not <laughs> so yeah I didn't see a, a trail off to the top of Big Cedar right there either and I seem to recall there being something that went there in some of the research I did or maybe the last time I was here but I didn't see anything this time that's the only thing is to that little camp spot and you're, I don't know, 100 yards or so maybe from the summit right there. As we go down here, we're going to be closer to a, you know, quarter mile, eighth of a mile before we, uh, off of that summit, I should say. Anyway, this is the point we hiked to when we came in from Miller Gap, if you remember that video. And it's just a great spot. As you're fitting to find out if you ain't seen it. So I just met a ridge runner with the GATC. He's said he's assigned, I think, from uh, Justice Creek to Lance Creek and uh, kind of basing out of uh, Gooch Gap shelter. So just uh, reinforcing uh, Leave No Trace and meeting the hikers. And he said there's been a lot of through hikers. So yeah, chat with him a minute. He seemed like a really cool kid. I mean, he's a guy, but you know kid <laughs> anyway i think we found a little turn off here if i 
think this is the turnoff yet to the little perch. Somebody stashed some food and water right there. Anyway, got here and have a look. <laughs> A little muddy coming in. Yeah. There we go. Preacher's Rock is back around that way. So we're both kind of looking down the same draw. I think there's a couple here, two or three. They all go down to Dockery Lake, which is down yonder. You can just see Yona peeking over back over that way, so good little spot. And we're on the same ridge with Big Cedar, which is I believe that's big cedar out there. I used to think this was called little cedar, but I could be totally wrong. I don't see this named on maps now, but I could have sworn at one time I saw this named as little cedar, but I think it's just part of the, actually just part of the ridge here of big cedar. But it's a good little spot. I mean, it really is. I mean, you could pitch your tent back here and wake up to a beautiful sunrise. Somebody had to throw their mountain house package down. Speaking of leave no trace. What are you going to do? Anyway, I'm going to sit here and take a little break. Make a little love. No, we're not making love. We're just taking a break. All right, we're leaving our little perch. Making our way down the side trail here. It's actually a little spot here you can camp. It'd be a really good hammocking spot too. You know, you could get up in the morning and go do your cooking. You'd be over here when you're when you're sleeping. And then you get a little bit of blockage maybe from the foliage when it comes in. But yeah. Back at our little spring here, coming off the side of Big Cedar Summit here. Which is right there. Thank goodness this isn't icy. <laughs> And a few days ago, it probably was. You can see along there, you can imagine what a nice slick that was. But yeah, we're going to traverse these little rocks here. I could have sworn there was a, something that would take you. Yeah, I did miss a little pig trail up to Big Cedar, but I don't know that there's going to be a much of a view but let's go find out <laughs> so yeah this is a uh, big cedar proper and it's got what the real estate folks call seasonal views <laughs> which means that the little lot of leaves on the trees you get a view but i thought that there was actually a proper view up here and one of the reasons i did this hike was to come and, and get to the summit and i i just blew right past that that trail that leads up here, but it's not beaten out very much. So not a lot of people have come up here, um, at least not this season. So I imagine some through hikers will be camping here at some point. I just passed a through hiker and talked to him a minute and he was looking for a spot. So he wanted to find a spot with water. I said, well, just get on down the ridge there, get toward Miller Gap and he should be able to find some water down that way. But yeah, not much to see here, but I think it's a good camp spot. I think especially in the wintertime, you get to see some some views out there, see the ridges and so forth. So, but yeah, it looks like our best view after Preacher's Rock is that little camp spot perched down there at the lower ridge, which uh, is good to know. And uh, I've been there before, and I like that spot. And kind of document that for you guys. If, if you're camping uh, out here, if you want to do a hike from Woody, you want to go somewhere and camp somewhere with a nice view, that's a short hike, not quite uh, two and a half miles. But... Um, It'd be a great place to wake up, see the sunrise. And uh, it'd be a, a better hike probably mileage-wise to just start at Gooch Gap and park there. And then you come across, come across Woody and then uh, 
hike on out there and finish your day out there. And it's not very far down from there if you needed water. Uh, I'm sure you could find it, like I said, I think on the other side. In fact, I think you cross a, a little a drainage before you get down the, the hill all the way to Miller Gap, if I remember correctly. So anyway, yeah, we're going to make our way back down to the car. Just a short hike, probably going to be about five miles, if that. But uh, nice climb. If I'm going to do a short hike, I want to have some climbing to kind of work myself out a little bit. So hang out a little bit of that. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to head on back down. So yeah, I wanted to apologize to the uh, hiking buddy group for not joining you at Pinnacle Knob today. I just, when my alarm went off, I just felt like I need to sleep a little bit more. And I've just been having a hard time. I took something to help me sleep. And uh, it did a pretty good job. But, uh, you know, I just needed a little bit more. Got a late start. But got to get that squared away where I'm sleeping a little better. And something I'm trying to figure out. But anyway, we're almost back to Priesthood Rock. We can see folks down yonder. Hear the highway, so we're not terribly far from there either. Yeah, we can see folks splayed out. Splayed out on the rock. Got some rocks to traverse here. And then we're back at Preacher's Rock. Ain't nobody preaching. I figured that GATC guy'd be here preaching about leave no trace. This is his platform, man. You got it. So yeah, this is your climb down Preacher's Rock. Switchbacks and rocks. Switchbacks and rocks, rocks and switchbacks. At least it wasn't straight up. <laughs> that would have been worse. All right, we've come down off the off the climb off Preacher's Rock and down into this saddle. Got a little gap here. Won't really be much in the way of big climbing now. I'm kind of skirt around here to the right and I think it'll be a little bit of a rise but then we'll start the descent down to Woody really clouded up really did but it ain't raining it's supposed to come in tomorrow so we'll see we'll see that from the comfort of our house <laughs> we passed a number of through hikers coming down there so yeah I told a couple of guys I said Asked them if they were going through hiking. They're like, yeah. I said, if somebody asks you if you're through hiking, you're supposed to say, oh no, I got a long way to go yet. <laughs> little little, little royalty-free joke from Uncle Joe. But uh, yeah, still making a way of Dane from Preacher's Rock. A nice little short hike. It wasn't, you know, wasn't much, but I got some climbing in, got some descending, burn a few calories. And, uh, had some things I want to do this evening. I don't want to be out until dark, which I normally would be. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, yeah, a little short one. Got to see those campsites again. And uh, now I know that that one on the far end of the ridge is the only one with a really good view, uh, four season view, which is what you want. But, yeah. You might be able to hear that it's actually starting to sprinkle. We weren't supposed to get any rain today, but you can see it there on the rock. All right, back at Woody. Starting to clear out a little bit. There's still people piling in and it's sprinkling. I think those through hikers back there are going to get wet tomorrow, sadly. But, there's old Gobi. 
waiting patiently. Hopefully nobody broke in and got my wheel low. That's a lot of fun as wheel low. There's a little wheel and a, basically a couple of pieces of wire. It's actually probably one continuous piece of wire. But anyway, it's a fun little toy. Yeah, hike out the big cedar and the campsites. Kind of getting reacquainted. Uh, give people some ideas about where they might want to camp when they go out there. So, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Get something to eat.